you realize a UFC title shot at 170 pounds, that is saying something most people would argue. This is as deep as any division in the UFC, and this man undeniably the number one contender as he makes the run tonight. He has separated himself from the back. The only person left is the champion. He has done everything necessary to be viewed as a guy that could hold this championship belt. Now's his moment. He has got to lock in for 25 minutes because it's gonna take all of that 25 to beat this great champion. Big spot for this young man tonight. Well, and a lot of his UFC experience, he believes is gonna help him in this setting. He's been measured with his energy all week. Nerves do not appear to be an issue. We'll see it by night's end. We have a Welterweight division has been among the promotion's strongest, and that is certainly the case here as we get our look at the undisputed UFC Welterweight Champion as he gets ready to defend the title. The Welterweight Champion of the world. He's a star. The guy is one of the best pound pound fighters in the world, and he carries himself in that manner. You can watch this guy from his approach to the media, to his appearances. He does everything right. He's a champ for a reason. It all boils down to who he is and how he approaches everything from the media to the fight game. And as commentators, we like heat, we like friction. We definitely have some of that on our welterweight championship matchup. Herb Dean, our referee Ready for this fight. one. Ready. Good to have you with us tonight from T-Mobile Arena, the home of the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights, and the building in which DC shocked some of the MMA world at UFC 226, uh, but this venue will always have a special place for you. This venue holds a special place in my heart. UFC 226, I became the double champion. This is a fight venue that you should want to compete in. A great arena where you can make history. Tonight, you get your chance. How technical is that? Nice straight punch. Just missed with the left there. What a wild start to this fight, unless, of course, you like defense. What a great fight so far. These guys are laying it all out on the line. Fighter lands a left punch, nicely done. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against yeah. Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Oh, another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Just touching him with the jab. Just misses with a left hook there. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Just over three minutes to go. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Just turning his hip over into the leg kick. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Wow, another nice combination there. He's got the flow state going tonight. Oh, he's in rhythm, John. It's like the music's playing in his head, and he is just salsa dancing. All up on his opponent's face. I mean, a jab, right hand, uppercut. Everything he throws lands, and it lands with vicious intent. He gets to the single cause. I look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Oh, nice combo, yes. Just over two minutes, round one. 
Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Nice body shot. Oh, nice. Oh, nice takedown defense. Beautiful shot to the head from the clinch here. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Lands a shot to the leg. Oh, and he lands the leg kick. The stats are in his favor when it comes to that strike. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Under a minute now to go in this one. Inside leg kick is there. Oh! Liver kick! Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Oh, nice body shot. Honing in on those counters. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. 30 seconds to go. Those are the body kicks that'll crumble you. 20 seconds left. Oh, inside kick. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we're starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. All right, so there's the end of the round. He has been committed to that body work all night. Certainly paid off over those previous five minutes. Yeah, he's investing in the body. He's not taking out withdrawals. He's depositing into body punching, and now it's showing itself. He's made an investment. Let's see how that investment pays off as we go forward. Always better to be making a deposit than a withdrawal. Oh, yeah, you got to stop taking withdrawals in all situations of your life, your relationship, your, your, your fighting, everything. Round two is underway. All right, this should be good as our next round gets underway. We nearly had a knockout in the previous round, but the corner seems to think they have their fighter back in the game. It felt fun watching such an exciting moment, but it is a testament to this fighter in the toughness and the durability that he possesses that he's still here right now with an opportunity still to win the fight. Well, at this point, he is really timing things out well. It looks like he'll try to set up another combination of counter strikes here. He'll try to bait his opponent in and ultimately use that over-aggressiveness against him. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. We show you the head strikes. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Nice crack there. <laughs> Great block there. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Big body kick lands. Oh, it looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Three minutes to go in round two. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, nice elbow.
there's his jab. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Nice job offensively as the strike lands clean. Oh! to the body. I know how tough he is, but really don't want to take too many more of those. I mean, even us, we're grimacing like, ah, how many more can this guy take? He cannot continue to take these body shots. It looks as though we're getting very close to a body shot finish. Oh, nice inside kick. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the... Oh, again! Well, it lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Oh, misses with the jab. Takedown defense holds up. Now goes to the uppercut. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Final seconds here. Nice block. Oh, 10 God. minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Tremendous head kick lands for this guy. Beautiful jab lands. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Good defense. Overhand right, nicely done. Nice shot there by the champ. Well, it takes a very good striker to be able to land going forward and moving backward. And as you see the numbers there, the counter striking has been absolutely on point for him here tonight. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch.
kick to the body now. That one won't land. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Oh! Just over three minutes to go in round three. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Oh, they're trying to good shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Big right hand. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Block that shot there. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Right hand, lands. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. He's taking too many of these shots up top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting, he's being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. That punch, no good. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Seconds to go. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Down, no problem. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited and you wanna finish him because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Oh, his right eye keeps taking damage, looking pretty swollen now. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We got to talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, you got, it got to be kind of fun to strut your way back to the store. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can <laughs> drop another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, the tension. Oh! He's hooked now. <laughs> oh, he leads with the right hand there. A lot of these strikes are set up by good footwork, yes? They are set up by good footwork, and he's not having to throw the jab every time because that right hand is just so fast. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Yeah. 
just misses with that one. Well, didn't take long. You see the signs of bruising on the outside of that lead leg. Trying to hammer that lead leg. All right, time to go to the gas station, TC. These fighters are cooked, my man. They have thrown everything but the kitchen sink at each other, and it's showing. Oh! He's hurt bad. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. He is going after that overhand right. That was a big check. Visibly limping here. Oh, and there's that inside leg kick. And just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it really hurts because that's the soft right. part of your leg. So you land that over and over again, the guy will have a very tough time maneuvering out of a lot of the techniques you go at. Big left hook coming. It's broke. Under three minutes to go in round four. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. There it is again. Look at that. Now he's backed up. to recover for his opponent, but the celebration is on one of the biggest wins in his UFC career. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance.